All right, everybody, what's going on? <clears throat> 7.30, right on the dot, and we are going to do another flight. That's right. Right now, we're getting ready to head to KCHA, and that's Chattanooga, and that's uh, Tennessee. So from South Carolina, it's Tennessee, and uh, let's see here. What was the, uh, the mileage? I was just curious. Um... Wow, this is going to be a short one. I thought it was 200 and something. Now, nah, currently 158 nautical miles. So it's a good trip, but it's not a long one. So, anyway, we're going to get rolling here uh, before the sun goes down. At least try to get there where the, uh, how you want to say it, uh, um, try to get there before dark, which probably won't, but anyway. All right, guys, here we go. We are going to elevate the throttle. And we're going to take the brake off. Brakes off. Here we go. Keep her on the, the uh, runway dead in center. Like I said, it's really 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 hard to hold this plane straight. I'm dead serious when I say that. You got to constantly either hit a right right rudder and that's it. I mean it's just basically what it is. Okay, gear up. Turn it back a little bit. Flaps coming up. There, but there she goes. She's going up now. So we're gonna bring the throttle back a little bit because if we don't, we'll get that ITT going on there. Okay, guys, we're gonna hit the autopilot and get a little closer here. Hit the uh, uh what the heck is it? Okay, hit, kind of hard to see it at, at, when the sun's going down now, okay, this is going up, right, yeah, so, alright, here we go, we're going to hit the speed too, run with that speed a little bit, and we're going to hit activate on the, uh, the uh, light thing which is activated. We're going to hit nav and she's going to follow the line. And we don't want to get an ITT so we're going to back it off here and uh, do a decent climb under 10%. This is one of my favorite times of flying, really, to be honest with you. One of my favorite times. Uh, when the sun's going down, get a real good look at stuff. And, uh, I love it. It's beautiful. But yeah, Chattanooga's not that far. I thought it was about 200 and something miles, but no, nah, she's... 158 miles. That's that's kind of kind of fun. I mean, you know, you look uh, you look direct when you fly. Okay, when you're flying, you're cutting all the roads out and all that. It's not like a car. So anyway, for this short flight, we're, I think we're gonna make it one four thousand. I'm gonna back it down to one four thousand because of. Uh, I thought it was uh, 
about 200 and something miles. We're going to back it down to one fourth now. And there we go. There we go. One, one four thousand ought to be established enough. Okay, we're going to bring speed back up because we are losing speed. I don't want to hit ITT, so we're going to I'll tell you what we're going to have to do. Oh, we went over 10%. That's what the problem is. We're going to come over here and go down on that because we're getting ITT now, see? And uh, we'll back it down. We got that taken care of. And we're going to come back up just a little bit. That ITT is kind of a rough thing to deal with, but that's that's part of the TBM. See, we got airspeed going on now, and we got a good climb, so we're just gonna keep it right there. Look at the beautiful sky, and we got the mountains from Tennessee out there in the distance, so definitely be seeing that. And we are currently set up, uh, we haven't set up no ILS or nothing, but currently looking for runway 15. The winds are 1700 flat, and uh, that's runway 17. 15 is the closest they got to it, so we're going to take 15. Altimeter, still good on that. We'll keep you with us until we get definitely, uh, definitely in the uh, leveled off here. And we'll part the videos, but um, let's see if I can. See something. Now, I know it's going to be getting dark here soon, so we want to. Brighten up the panel. Gavin light on, I guess. Um, looking for other switches here. Got a strobe and nav on here. On the other side. I believe we do. Alright. So. For all the internal lights. Checking everything out here. AP trim. And I don't think we have any more lights. Uh, the, uh, I don't know, I was thinking there was some more lights here. I think there is. Like down here? That's what I was looking for. A, uh, I don't know what the CB light is, but let's turn it on, see what's going on with it. Um, I'm looking, I'm looking. Free music source. XM radio. <laughs> and we can't run that. Alternate static source. Pull that group. Okay. That's good enough. Let's 
basically all I see. Um, no lights on this. Let's turn to the uh, left here. I don't see nothing down here on the side. about it um oh we're leveled at one four thousand okay <clears throat> let's see how we fly in here flying pretty good and yeah see sometimes i uh i get these wild uh <coughs> hairs sometimes to I got traffic off the left here. I don't know where there he is right there. I've seen him on the y'all seen him. He was on the uh, I'll show you again here, right here, coming towards it's gonna cross our path. But get out here, you can see him. Well, see him better on this side. That's like that's why I like to uh. Have access on my half. I want to position the plane. But anyway, there's an airport down there. an eye on it. Okay, there we go. Right there. He's going underneath us. I don't know if that's telling you the altitude on that. Let's check it out. It's pass right underneath us. Back in the cockpit, check that out. And see if that altitude on it. Nah, it doesn't show that. But he is coming. He just disappeared. He didn't just blow up or something, did he? Hey guys, he disappeared. I don't know where the hell he went. Evidently, it was somebody flying and maybe they got offline. Okay, guys, we're currently a hundred twenty-four nautical miles out, and we are got a good ways to go, not too far though. And if we can get any other kind of information here. Okay, ground speed two forty-two. Yes, that's. ETA is 30 minutes, 12 seconds. Distance. And I still haven't figured this. This has something to do. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. This has something to do with the time change, I think. UTC time. And it says 0013, so I don't know. Because I know there's the time change goes in effect from like Tennessee to not North Carolina, but we're going to Tennessee, so that's a, that's definitely a time change. So anyway, just wanted to point that out before we uh, cut the video. But anyway, it's such a beautiful time here, up here. Weather's clear. This is where I really like to pan around here with my hat take a look. I think I am going to check that out. But I got a... There's a guy online. His name is Hudson. And he does videos. And he also does uh, joystick controls and all that. And that's who really set me up with this. But I might have programmed it in a different area. So I'm going to try to watch the video again, okay? All right, we shall be back in about, I'd say about 15 minutes. I'm going to pause the video right here and we'll pick it up on the descent.
be back in a short. All right, everybody, back in here. On the descent, getting ready to start down, currently 64 miles out. Sorry about that, had to do something. Um, 64 miles out and we are going to start down. Now, I don't think I've ever been to this airport. Um, can't remember any time there, so I like to go to airports I haven't been. So that's why I kind of pick them randomly and uh, Anyway, we're 60 something, so we're gonna, gonna go down to uh, we're gonna go down to 7,000. Why not? All right. And yes, and this. And we're gonna back off on the throttle. And it is a beautiful night here. Sun setting. Sun setting in the west, which is very nice, very nice. And uh, uh, so I do a little clean up after supper there. The altimeter ought to change a good bit in here because we are heading to mountain areas, so that's why we got to watch our uh, watch our flight here. Tennessee's full of mountains. Like I said, we are looking for runway 15, and 15 uh, is going to be on the back side of the airport, so we'll hook it right. Uh, I think, yeah, we'll go out right and then come back in left. That should line us up with 15, so. Yes, it kind of. When I, every time I do that, too, it it seems kind of unbelievable. I'd rather stroll around the aircraft real slow and and not be this fast, quick crap. You know what I mean? I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Now the inside's different. Okay, look at that. I mean, that's not bad right there. I mean, it's just you know, it's your average move around. You know. Move around the cockpit here, look around. But anyway, I found out how to get the lights more brighter on the panels and everything uh, while I was in between videos. Uh, let's kick the speed up a little bit here. Um, it was uh, definitely. Uh, If I, if I reset my my lights on the outside, every every light it cuts on the uh, the panel lights high, very high. So it made it a lot better to tell you the truth. All this lit up real high here. So that was good. Okay, let's check our check our distance. 48 miles. Uh, 
trying to wait to 30 to go down to uh, 4,000. I do see some mountains right here. It's got the uh, map on here. Get terrain update says we do this. Um, 20 miles. Yeah, right here. That's ahead of us. I really don't know if I want to go down until I pass this area. Got one more little mountain right here. I think it, as you get closer to uh, Chattanooga, it gets a little bit better. So this is this is definitely hilly terrain out in front of us here. So we want to, I think we're going to stay here for a little bit until we get past this section and uh, get past this also. And we will start cutting right a little bit to go out a little bit. And we got to follow our uh, map and look at uh, all our train too so that's 57 GA out there uh, are we on the we might be would Georgia be on the is that definitely thinking that's a Georgia airport a oh, little little airport can't remember. Let me look at the map real fast here. That's not it. Um, it's the uh, <clears throat> the uh, what map do I want to look at? Yeah, here we are. Okay, we're going to uh, A C H A K C H A and I did look at Greenwood uh South Carolina while we were down there. There it is right there. Okay, um they had some nice pictures. They did. I'm trying to see if how far Okay, I'm looking for the border what I'm looking for yeah okay looking for the border okay, Tennessee Chattanooga I did see Georgia down in this area yeah we that's okay that's right we are on the border of uh, Georgia and Chattanooga Tennessee so that's why you were seeing that's why you were seeing that right there. So, anyway. Let's see what we're going here through. Or C, C, K, C, H, A right there. <clears throat> All right. Nice here. And um, I do see some lights right here, light for a, a city right there, off in the distance, just barely. Yeah, I definitely want to get past this, because once you get past that, get the mount terrain area. It, it kind of goes down right in this area here. You do have some, like the GA right here in Georgia. And the state line has got to be real close here. Because so, there's, I don't know if that's GA right there. Seven GA. Yeah, that's that's Dalton, Georgia, right there. So, uh, yeah, definitely, uh, that's Dalton, Georgia. Um, that's Brunswick, Lafayette, Georgia. Let's see right here. 
here. What is this? Georgia? Good God. Yeah, we're still in Georgia right here, guys. That's Alabama. So we're going to be close to the Alabama and Georgia Tennessee line. That's a trip there, ain't it? Yeah. Okay, we're getting down past the mountains. We're going to start our descent down to, uh, let's see how far we're out. 27 miles out, yeah. We'll start our descent down to um, 4,000. Let's see here. Got to mind everything, kind of feel around for it a little bit. I think 4,000 would be safe being in a hilly terrain area. And our far left there, seen a seen an airport right there. I believe I'm not gonna say that's this one right here. I'm not too sure, but it might be this one, but I think it's not, because that would be way to hell over there, I think. Um, it'd be this, uh, this airport. What is this? Let's get a little closer for this. Because there is one right here. Let's see what this is. I don't know. That's not coming up. That's Elton, that's Elton, Georgia that we just passed by, I think it is. Not too sure. How did I do that for? Anyway, let's bring the throttle back up. Currently at 4,000. We got traffic dead ahead. I don't know where he's at. I'm looking for him. Just coming up our right wing, get ahead. But I don't see him. Um, he could be high. Let's look up high. Okay guys, we are currently level at four. We'll go down to three here in a second, but I want to look at the, uh, yeah, we're 17 miles out. Let's go down to three grand. And uh, we'll throttle back a little bit. We're going to take our right turn now to go around the airport, but there we go. kind of drive me crazy that fast swing I swear it, it just is 
it's, it's, you know, it's okay inside, but it's not that fast. Like you got a ball game going on over there. I don't know what it is, but see here. See if we get a better look at it. Might be a golf course, I don't know. <laughs> Probably is. Alrighty. Let's see where we're at here. Uh, currently 13 miles out. KFGU dead ahead, which is Colin, Colin Dale, excuse me, Tennessee. That's, uh, we're definitely in Tennessee right now. down on the speed a little bit there we'll probably fly over well I'll tell you what we better not might put us in the path or something we'll uh, take our heading straight now out a little bit from the airport so it should be okay. Oh yeah. Got it over on the uh, airport should be about our uh, say about our 11 o'clock 11 30 position right there I see some traffic coming off of uh, CHA right now looks like he's coming off of one five what well, we're gonna be setting up for so uh, I don't know if I can see it from here it's kind of hard to like how you want to say it um, I could do this. It'd be popping up right in here somewhere, I think. Can't really see because of this. Shut my outside line on y'all. I'll be right back. Hmm. You shut that door here a little bit. It's gonna get cool. Um Yeah, flying in the low area of uh, Tennessee, it's a pretty sight. Got a lot of lights. It's like another golf course. Could be the same thing I see back there. Ain't no telling with the uh, the graphic details they put in here. the airport. I think it's right there. That's it right there. There's two 
went on some ice, y'all. Hmm. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed this flight tonight. I, you know, I do like to fly at night sometimes. And, and another golf course, it looks like. Must be golf courses all over Tennessee. Okay, we've got an airport right here. And that's Chattanooga right there. I'm sorry. I was thinking it was right here. But it was right here. So, we're going to look for runway 15. Let's see here. 15. We'll be back this way. So, looking at it. Uh, I guess, wait a minute. I want to say that's 1-5. That could be because I don't see no cross runways. So we're going to take a left hand turn here. Set it up for runway 1-5. Let's do that. Get a little closer here. Here we go. That, that could be. Oh no. Hold on, let me look. I see the other runway now. No, I think. Hell yeah, no, I made a mistake, y'all. 1-5 is directly right over here. Well, that's what we want right there. So what we're going to do, we're going to break the airplane off. We're going to set everything. We're going to cut, uh, let's see, a little closer here. So we'll see what we're doing. Cut the FD off. There we go. I think we got to cut the autopilot off. Autopilot off, FD off, yeah. Um, YD goes off. Okay, we got the aircraft now. And uh, I definitely am going to check into, uh, like, uh, uh, being able to swing up on the view with that upper position like I said I was. I'm going to that's some stuff I'm going to concentrate in. Okay, we got one click of flap. Gonna trim it down a little bit, going around. See if we can see that, uh, that runway. Let me get my bearings right here, guys, because I think... You know, yeah, that's it right there. Okay. I believe that's it. On five. Flap down. Gear down. Yeah, it's definitely one five right there. Ninety one knots. I gotta bring it up. Not a high on the approach, but uh, we'll get it down. Traffic just rotating off the runway right there. We are cleared to land. Runway 15. All right. Let's 
not a bad landing guys and we won't even go in reverse because we got a lot of runway here tap brakes a little bit I'm gonna take this high speed off right here might as well I'm not sure we took the right area. We might have crossed the main runway. I asked for taxi instructions. Uh, let's cut this off. And uh, let's uh, ATC it. Ground. Taxi to park. Okay. All right, it's taking us down here, so we'll follow the blue carpet. Clean the airplane up. Bring the flaps in. Still got them runway lights in the center of the taxiway. <laughs> I know it's not. I know it's not easy for these program guys to get things right. It's. It's a difficult job. It really is. So you can't blame these guys. You know what I mean? But it's just it just seems kind of funny, you know, that the lights are definitely, definitely out of whack here. At all airports. There's Chattanooga. Let's hold here. Take a look. Good thing we looked, huh? They're across. Sun us down here a little bit. What would you know of something like that happening right there? Come on, man. Can you believe that crap? Fuel truck. That's, that. you know, you're just looking for disaster right there. You know what I mean? That's crazy. It is. It's crazy. That's why I turned that down. I'm going to have to check that again. I, I really don't like crossing paths with a lot of... Uh, traffic on the ramp, fuel trucks. Well, I'm not saying like in New York and it's like across here. I guess like in New York and stuff like that. I mean, I can understand maybe because because that's a busy, busy airport. New York, um, Atlanta, how the, how the traffic runs around. Delivering bags to different gates and stuff like that. And, but, oh, shoot. Heck, I, I remember when I was working in Florida, I used to do that. Um, taking the bags to the uh, a different aircraft sometime, catch a connecting flight. Yeah. Even at the small airports too. This thing is difficult to steer. I really do need to check the dual, the uh, joystick on this seat. It needs to be reset. So, Let's see if we got a marshal here. can't tell right here. I don't see any lights. And I don't see anybody. This is where they want me to park. Well, I'm going to park it here. This is good enough. Right here. There. We got somebody on a tug. But that's about it. Let's see. There we go. 
That's where we're supposed to be. All it. I got my door open, but screen's up. All right, guys, we're going to cut the engines. That's off the lights and everything, don't it? I don't know about that. Yeah, it does. Well, anyway, we got the flashlight on our head, as you can see. So, <laughs> but anyway, we're going to open the door so we can get out of here. There we go. Lights off. Now, let's see what light's on out here. See a light? I don't, it must be the door light? That's what it is right there. I can see it now. You look behind it. Let's see here. Right, well, now you can't. I don't know if that's it or not. I think it is. Or is it that light? I don't know. I see a light right there. That must be coming from the tug. So I ain't worried about it. Anyway, guys, we're here. Welcome to Chattanooga. I hope you enjoyed the flight. And uh, we will catch you on out of here tomorrow for another flight. Probably going a little higher or maybe out to the uh, west more. We'll definitely look out for a good airport that I've never been to. I hope you enjoyed it. And until then, I will catch you on the next one, okay? Put this up right now. Catch you later.